DC. Star Wars. For every universe, there are infinite stories. And infinite possibilities. Join Fulcrum Entertainment and our special guest, The Peaky Arrow, as we ponder the question, what if? Yeah, I love it every every single time. Yeah, no, he he does it perfectly every time. Hire this man. (laughs) So, yeah, what's up, everybody? It is I, Gilbert. Oh, uh, me, Harrison. I forgot that we've done this now. I have to say my own name. I mean, I, I can go back to saying your name if you want, Harrison. But I, <laughs> I feel like it, it sounds better when you're the one who says it. <laughs> I'm busy making content that isn't actually made by me. Yeah, I know. You're busy You're busy outsourcing to robots. <laughs> Shame yes. on you. You're di- yes. You know, you're the problem, Harrison. You're those you're the pro- you're the reason that Detroit become human is gonna become a thing. No, I'm not allowed to exploit human beings anymore. I can exploit machines. The rumba <laughs> doesn't have rights. Yet. <laughs> yeah, see, I love it. And yeah, that and that awesome voice, that awesome face. We are joined today by the one and only Peaky Arrow. Hey, How's hello. it going, Peaky? Uh, it's going good. It's going good. Thank you for having me back on. Absolutely, you you are always welcome on this show, and we are always and we're always glad to have you on here and kind of just soak up the light that is. <laughs> no, I'm just no, we're always have, we're glad to have you on the show and and just like let you do most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but no, seriously, no. It's it's good to have you on, and we, today we're going to be talking about a uh, yeah. It's another welcome to another fulcrum. What if we're going to be talking about uh, today? We're going to be talking about what if. See, fuck, I've, I've, I've phrased this like seven different ways across all these different things I've, I've shared it on. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we're going to be doing, what if the Kaminoans cloned a different bounty hunter than Django Fett? Boom. So Perfect. no bounty hunter Absolutely. in particular, not necessarily Cad Bane or, you know, uh, Fennec Shand or whoever. It's just, we're talking about who, what, what if they cloned someone else? So let's go ahead. And first of all, welcome, gentlemen. It's good to see you both. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> and then it's also good to see our our chat. Uh, yeah, again, because Discord or Streamer is making me do this, or it's it's, t- it's prompting me to do it. We got to say welcome to Skylar uh, Hunter, our new YouTube member, a new uh, guys, member Skylar. of the Fulcrum Council. In the chat, we have TJ Templar saying, "Hail Fulcrum! Hail Fulcrum! Well, hail to you, TJ! Hail yes. to you, TJ!" Yes. <laughs> That's another. That's what, that's what I want to take. I want to hail yourselves, my friends. Hail yourselves exactly. to all of you. Exactly. Yeah. Don't hail us. Uh, hail. Well, I guess hail Fulcrum. So yeah, he is hailing all of us because we are all Fulcrum Harrison. Exactly. God damn TJ. He knows. He's a smart man. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> See, we got Nate Lynch in here. Gre- he says, "Greetings, homies. Greetings to you, all right, Nate." Nate. Nate good got to Dale you. Erdman saying, Dale. "There's a chat." <laughs> we <laughs> yes, can indeed, see you again, Dale. You haven't been banned from the chat. I, I don't know what happened there. I don't like. I don't know what happened. I don't know who brought down the ban hammer, but it wasn't me. I checked all the th- shit, and he was still allowed. So I don't know. What I'm happened. pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure neither of us did anything there. Like YouTube screwed you over, Dale. I'm sorry. As it is wont to do. And we also have uh, Samuel in here say, uh, saying, "Good evening, gentlemen. What's up?" And Good so, evening. all right, guys. Up. <laughs> and we also. But but wait. If you're here, then who's how? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding. There's a, there's a paradox. There's two Peaky Arrow productions. Oh god, it's like that. It's like that crappy uh, movie that uh, what's his name? What's, uh, Christopher Wait, Nolan this? made. It's sort of Peaky. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? But you're here, Peaky. <gasps> Gilbert, get out of the house. Peaky's in the house. <laughs> as a, as an arm comes around and just stabs me. <laughs> See, see, see how scary would it have been, though. If, just raising up below the screen. Yeah, like, how scary would it have been if, like, Peaky, like, drops down below his, and then out of mine, another one just kind of starts coming up. 
You don't want two of me. You don't want two of me. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I think one Peaky clone is more than enough. Yeah. Oh shit! I've said too much. <laughs> you weren't supposed to hear oh, that no. part, Peaky. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but in all seriousness, speaking of clones, we're talking like as we said, we were talking about that Star Wars, the Star Wars thing, but the the clones. <laughs> so, uh, you guys want to go ahead and start? Uh, go ahead and get into it. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about this. So, let's yes, 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 do it. All right. So, uh, um, you know, I'll I'll go ahead and let our guests go ahead and start. So, there's a lot of different like we talked about this a little bit off air. So, there's a lot of different bounty hunters we could choose from. There's you know, yeah. uh, Aura Singh. There's Fennec Shand. There was uh, what's what's her what's his name? Cad Bane, the the guy who's on our title or on our uh, thumbnail. Like mm-hmm. we, there's a lot of stuff we could have done. Shit. I, I, I guess <laughs> you could have. I guess IG88 if you want to get technical. But I'm like <laughs> so. Peaky, I'll leave it to you first. Is it who would who would you want it, or who's your like dream casting? If you couldn't be Jango Fett, who would it be? I think it would have to be Fennec. For me, I think you... I, I I I I like Fennec as a character, and I like like uh, you know she's she's the she's kind of like the long ranged bounty hunter because she's always using that like sniper type rifle blaster. Mm-hmm. So like it'd be interesting to see like how they augment her clones like you know what special yeah if they made ones with special traits what would they be and and there's also the question is if fennec was the one chosen would she want an unaltered clone of herself like uh django did with boba i like the idea that she wouldn't that she'd be like i don't need a kid yeah like so then it, it completely changed like all of Star Wars, because then there wouldn't be, like, you wouldn't have the Boba Fett. So, like, then you wouldn't, you know, you'd have Fennec, the OG Fennec, but then you wouldn't have someone to kind of like take her place when she when she died, type of thing. Yeah. So, so no, no, like bounty hunter Fennec fighting off Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. So it would, and obviously, like, then you wouldn't have. Uh, uh, a Fennec helping uh, yeah, you have the OG probably the OG Fennec helping Mando but then you wouldn't have like the the the, the Fennec that would be Boba you gotta take Boba's place type of thing mm. see I feel like we're just if you if you make Fennec the, the clone I feel like we're just writing a better book of Boba Fett <laughs> like <laughs> then yeah. it's like for some reason Fennec gets, a, gets a, a clone of her own and then that clone ends up going back to Tatooine to become a crime boss but does it way better <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the book, doesn't the book take, doesn't waste the time shard. on the doesn't yeah, waste the, the time the, on the on the on the fifties greasers and uh, or the or the Vespas. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of the, treats them with the disgust they deserve. <laughs> so instead of instead of the book of because it's obviously the book of Boba Fett, it would mm. be like the folder of Fennec Shard because you'd kind of need that little bit of alliteration. <laughs> A folder of Fennec. <laughs> I like that. The, the folder of Fennec. Why is it so much lesser? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess it, it, it's because the .txt the... file of Fennec. <laughs> <laughs> the PDF of Fennec. I'm like, I don't know, <laughs> but it, it doesn't sound. It doesn't roll off the tongue as well. No, and but the like, book well, and the book of Fennec. Well, I mean, that just sounds like a copy. Yeah, so you, it, you know, Book of Boba Boulder is Fennec, like right? a little bit of a, a of alliteration. So you would need the same thing with Fennec. So it'd be like the folder of Fennec. I, I I'm going to go there to the Fennec files. All oh, the Fennec, the Fennec files. files. Yeah. Okay, I like that. But so, it, you know, it does give it much more of a like. Okay. Doodle, 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 doodle. Because Boba though, because Boba was a uh, clone of her of uh, Jango. So let's assume that Fennec was the was the clone person, and she had one of the clones be her daughter or whatever. Like, what would that? Who? What would you? Would she, would she just call her Fennec Junior then? I don't know. I, I mean, I guess um, <laughs> we already est- we already kind of established that Fennec wouldn't have the daughter, but still, though, I just feel like that'd be Fennec a weird Shia. thing. That'd be a weird thing for her to have a clone Shia. and then be and then just like, oh yeah, we're all just Fennec. <laughs> would it, would it be like, 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 would Shand stay as like a? I don't know, like what her culture is. Is, is Shand like a surname? Yeah, I think I so. get. I, I think so. it's kind of like Fett. Fett is like the surname, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I don't know whether like Fennec had like, one of those, you know, like um, some Eastern cultures have a way the uh, the name that it said first is like the family name. So whether it's like Fennec Shand and then the other one has to be like Fennec Bland. Okay. <laughs> Fennec Bland. 
her boring daughter. See, she has a clone daughter, but then that, that daughter does goes on to not be a bounty hunter. Yeah, she just goes on to be like an accountant or something. <laughs> that was exactly that. Right. Yeah, she's the accountant. She's like, she's like mother, mother, you oh, cannot possibly keep this going. You need to do more. I don't know why she's English. so. So it looks like Samuel and you, Harrison, are on the same wavelength because he says, "How about they clone Bosk instead?" Yes, now, absolutely. That would be a, a cool one. I think a boss clone army like that'd be a scary clone army a bunch yeah. of trandosians i got i got some things i'll uh, i'll share my screen so i i've been going to our friends the ais to uh, to make the robots imagine things for me mm -hmm. um and so i'm going to try and show you like what i got i got some cool ones so this one this i went to dali mini and i got some nice bosk things here so oh I'm nice just... okay yes can you skip can you oh there we go there we go so we get some. These are ones very much where it's like just Bosk, like wearing kind of stormtrooper, clone trooper armor. So like some sort of variation of it. Where it's a bit weird. I feel like if it was to happen, it would actually be more that they would create like specific Trandoshan style armor. Maybe this yeah. sort of tan one over here is closer to what that might be like. Um, yeah, whenever you see the Trandoshans, they're usually wearing those weird like flight suit things. So it'd be kind of interesting to see them. Like, or like maybe that one on the corner, on the on the bottom right here, on the on the far right. The far right, so, uh, yeah, that that one you're hovering over right now. I'm yeah, gonna say that one, like yeah. the, that looks kind of like a super saiyan almost. Yeah, do, you know what? it really does. Yeah, but yeah, I agree, like with the exposed forearms, because like Boss kind of always had that, so where there's some sort of thing that you know uh, Trandoshans are more comfortable like that. But I did uh, try some others, and I got these more kind of like creations. They're, they're not quite exactly Boss, but I I quite like the lizard men army that I'm getting out of this. That it's reminds me of like I, I it's I mean kind of a kind of an equal or same a similar thing, but those remind me of the Gorn from uh, uh Star Trek. Yeah. Oh all yeah, you need, all you need is Shatner going <gasps> and Yeah, it is very much the Gorn, yeah. Um this is more like a bit abstract, but I kinda like that like for some reason their clone troopers go green if they're lizard people. <laughs> and they appear right. to be dancing with skeletons. I don't get that bit. Yeah, no, that's weird. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be like their weapons or rifles or something like that, but that's that's kind of weird. So <laughs> I tried to do something similar to that, and all I got was uh, this. Here, I'll screen share mine. I tried to make lizard stormtroopers, and all I got was all I did was save fifteen percent on my car insurance by switching Ooh. to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that legit looks like a Mass Effect like character. Yeah. That looks good. That looks like you went and found the the cousins of those like other big lizards, like um, the, the pacifist ones. Like, yeah, man, we mostly eat lettuce, maybe bugs. <laughs> <laughs> no see. one, no one like gave us a genophage because we're pretty chill. Let's see. Milk Toast is in here from on Twitch. He says the Ewok that took down uh, the Adat is a bounty hunter, so I'd clone him. Is that? I don't think that I don't think any Ewoks are bounty hunters, <laughs> but an Ewok clone army, that would be a scary thing. God, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> an army of teddy bears. I got one more bow. I got one more reptile uh, clone army that I just wanted to show you. I quite like these guys. Just because these guys look like something out of Super Sentai. They look like um like some sort of Power Rangers enemy. Yeah, I, yeah, they kind of got that feel. Yeah. Or maybe like a, the bad guys from a knockoff G.I. Joe. Yeah, they look like generic like Cobra villains. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I do want. He was joking about it, but I I actually kind of like. I guess cloning technically is just build. You just mass produce an army of IG eighty eights. Yeah. yeah I, I I feel like that. I feel like if you're just fighting a droid army with a droid army, you've missed the point. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Cr crazy idea. How about the the Republic use the cl the droid army and then they the the separatist clone someone else. <gasps> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, that's that's a stupid. Th it's like they just switch sides. Yeah, no, that they, they doesn't make any goddamn sense. But no, in all seriousness, yeah, no, I, I guess using a droid army to fight a droid army, you kind of missed the whole purpose of what the yeah, like you said, you missed the whole point of what the of what the original trilogy is about. Yeah. Ooh, Connor's got a good thing. Wouldn't a uh, Bosk army just be the TV show V? That's a bit of a deeper cut. V. Yeah. Aliens turn up and eat humans. Yeah. But but I, I mean kind of yeah I I like the sort of terrifying idea of like a boss one. Um, <laughs> so <Do> uh, <laughs> hey Harry, could you do the boss voice just once? You fool! You little human worm! 
There we Did go. Did you say you could clone me? Everyone knows a Trandoshan kills his family. If you cloned a Trandoshan, we would eat each other until only one was left. And then we'd find the real Bosk and we'd kill him. And that's me. Nice. There you go. Very nice, Harrison. Well done. Oh, say, hey, we check it out. We got uh, Dr. Mad Studio says, hello, folks. Greetings from Britain. Oh, hello, fellow Brett. Hello. Hey, you got it. Like, <laughs> I'm enjoying your. Yeah, your, got, uh, you, got, you guys. Got, it's real good. <laughs> we got Connor over in Ireland. We got. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure. I think Anon is over there. Is in the UK as well. I'm like Jesus Christ. All y'all. I'm feeling kind of. Feeling kind of like. Uh, what's it called? Um, surrounded. <laughs> Sur- I'm surrounded on all sides by by Brits. Yeah, it's like this is this is a weird British invasion. Yeah, like, this is this is the red coats and then the Beatles and then me and Peaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I guess Salacious and Bob. Yeah, uh, Salacious, Salacious. You know, like it, it is a weird intergalactic like immigrant of like multiple places thing. So I don't think he counts as British. Yeah. He's he's Kowakian, but he was but he's also British for some reason. Yeah, yeah. You know, his, his Kowakian heritage is very important to him. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Mads, he, he understands the British invasion has begun. Up, oh, they're back. <laughs> And God damn it, we're, we, New Mexico wasn't even part of the of the original colonies. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see Hillary. Okay, there we go. We got and we got Hillary. She's in Texas. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's something. <laughs> that's something. I don't know what that counts towards, but it, yeah, it's something. It counts. It counts towards. <laughs> there's, a little, there's one more American in here. That's a, <laughs> so that's something. <laughs> how's how's everything doing? Uh, it's just Dr. Man Studio says, "How's everything doing? Not much happening." In my corner of the world, but that's to be expected in winter. In yeah, the, winter sucks. But uh, I also like the uh, Timo's comment here says getting a Ninja Turtle vibe with these pictures, especially with this one. I got I get a massive Ninja Turtle vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like it, like Phoenix cones wouldn't even really be that different from like Django's, really, would they? Because they'd still be humanoid. Hmm. But would they all be would they all be female because obviously like Django's were all male yeah except for Omega of course yeah know. apart from except for Omega so then would it if they cloned Fennec would it be a switchery would they all be male apart from one see oh uh, like, would know... they all be female apart from one which would then be male because it would be kind of like a, a, a swap that's a good question. Uh, or would they hmm. genetically engineer them to all be male still? I'm guessing they'd probably make them all female to, to make them just like uh, Fennec. Yeah. Uh, if they did that. As far as um, like they probably, now that'd be an interesting thing. Now here that there brings up a whole other topic. What about the Bad Batch? Like what do the Bad yeah. Batch become with, with uh, Fennec clones or hmm. with you know Cad Bane clones? Or boss, cl- dude. If the if boss clones were the bad batch, how much more badass would that show be? That is the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, like, that, that's exactly what that would be. Yeah. It, it would just be like a bunch of Raphaels, like Jack was saying. We were talking briefly, me and Jackson, about um, Street Sharks, uh, the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, competitor. That was they were all just Raphael. That's what you'd have with with boss. Yeah, you might like maybe if they were to get really cartoony with it, you would have one that was literally a turtle. They just be like, oh yeah, that one grew a shell for some reason. Yeah. Like we call him Lloyd. <laughs> call him Lloyd. So like, yeah, because with the bad batch, would they all like if so? Obviously, like you know, they were they were made to be like unique, apart separate to the other clones. Would they still have the traits that they have now, or do you reckon they would have different ones based on the different bounty hunter they were cloned after? I think they would probably aim for some similar ones. So, like, I think, like, you're probably always going to get, like, a Wrecker equivalent because there's going to be what happens if we just increase the size of this clone. Yeah. Go, what if we have more muscle mass? God, could, so you, like, could you imagine a, a, a Wrecker-sized Fennec clone? <laughs> I or, can imagine the fandom. I can imagine yeah. the stand I, I know Twitter exactly who, that. The people who were, who were like, uh, simping over what the, the big lady... You know the vill- Resident Evil Village lady. Yeah, you know, yeah. Gady yeah, Demetrius. I can't. I can't say that I'm not victim to it. Sometimes, you know. Was... 
Um, I can see the appeal of you to step on you, uh, don't you, Harrison? <laughs> or Not step on me, but sit, maybe. <laughs> or a wrecker, a wrecker-sized Cad Bane cone. <laughs> see, that, I feel like if it were if it were Cad Bane, then uh, Bad Batch would be a little more boring. I'm like, I don't, yeah. I don't really care about Cad Bane story. Like, if they're all, if they're all like Clint Eastwoods, then then no, if everyone's a Clint Eastwood, then nobody's a Clint Eastwood. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they're all just going off on their own, just like doing individual <laughs> things. Like... <laughs> exactly. I'm like, it becomes a <laughs> lot no, more. Bo- but no teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, uh, Doctor Madstu, he says, not, not often I come across a live stream featuring fellow Brits, and apparently Tony is in Minneapolis, so. Ah. I've never been I've never been to Minneapolis, but all right. It, the numbers are is. the numbers are upping. I don't know where that is. Where is I, Minneapolis, I believe Minneapolis, Minneapolis slash St. Paul would be like as in, in Minnesota Minnesota. Oh, uh, see for anyone wondering, he says he's based in Mary Sa- or Mary Merseyside. 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 Not far so from like, Liverpool. So he he's he's like from where I'm born. Like yeah, like yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm down south. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Matt Studio. So I'm um, uh, my family's from Speak. So like, yeah, that, that's the area of Liverpool that I'm from. Uh, but I didn't grow up there. But See. that's like, from there. So yeah, the 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 birthplace of of the Beatles, and apparently him. <laughs> the, 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 damn it, camera there. This. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Yeah, so, yeah, it's nice. Anyway, let's see. I love uh, Liverpool. Actor Matt Studio says, "I've always wondered what the clones of Montross would have been like." Montross. I'm going to look Montross. that up and see who. Ooh. Don't know who Montross is. Well, we find out uh, Samuel is freezing his butt off in Canada, CA. In Canada, Canada? All right. Montross yes. was a Mandalorian turned <laughs> bounty hunter who completed who competed with Django Fett to become the template for the clone troopers. Oh. oh. Originally one of uh Jaster uh Mir- or Muriel's true Mandalorians, Monta- uh, Montross fought in the Mandalorian Civil War, where he was known for his brutal acts and his acts of recklessness. Mm-hmm. So, okay. He's a, he's a Mandalorian like uh, Boba Fett, and he, apparently, yeah, he would, that's, I'm, I'm trying to see where, where exactly he was from, like what game or what comic book or what thing. I think it said in the comment of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. That was a game, I believe. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, on, that's, a, that's a Django Fett game. Does yeah. that, that, that was on the GameCube? Yeah, GameCube PS2, that era. I, yeah. I had that. It was tough as nails. I've actually got it on my PS4 as well. I bought it a while back. Um, it's so I don't hard. think I ever played that one. <clears throat> it's fun. Like, And there's the nice amount of challenge on you can like, actually take people alive and stuff like as extra Ooh. missions throughout levels. Uh, but yeah, it's really difficult, I found at least. So this is uh, Montross. Oh, yeah, I know that dude. Yeah. So Harrison, all right, you since you have seen have experience, what what do you think would happen if Montross was the new uh, was the new clone template instead of Boba or not in Boba? I mean, so Jango. I, yeah, like, like I don't know where else to go. Ah, well, obviously Montross. Uh, the thing about Montross is that he was deathly allergic to Zabrak fruit, uh, which meant that uh, they couldn't use him because Zabrak fruit is poten- as a uh, integral to the process of building clone trooper armor for some fucking reason. Uh, no, like, I, I don't know enough about him. Um, I think he probably would have been similar to Django Fett, uh, but maybe, like, I don't know, Django seems to be, like, a more chill Mandalorian compared to a lot of Mandalorians we see, like, earlier on. that they're, they're very kind of, you know, like, Kratos-like, and I remember this guy being a bit like that. Uh, so, yeah. He I think looks maybe... kind of Kratos-like. Look at them arms. Yeah, may- maybe, like, maybe... They, then you wouldn't get stuff like the Bad Batch happening. That you know, sort of Order sixty six would be more successful. In fact, maybe the clones stay on, and you don't get as much of the shift over to stormtroopers. Here's an interesting one: Dengar. Oh, oh okay. the toilet paper guy. <laughs> Who cares about? De- you just have a bunch of. Uh, you know what? I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Dengar might be. We talked about this on the other stream that. I don't think there's any Australians in Star Wars. I think Dengar is. I think there's. I always hear you always hear his his accent as being Australian. At least, at oh, least really? whenever you, whenever you watch him in Clone Wars. Oh, so he's he's like he's the one guy, and, and I don't understand why they chose him to be that. But like he he, in my opinion, he gives bad name to, to uh, the Australian accent and the Australian people. <laughs> uh, and I love it. Obviously, the, the 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 famous one from Attack of the Clones, Sam Zam Wessel. 
Zam what? Oh yeah, the, the chick who transfer. I think he's a she, and I think she's a changer. The, yeah, that uh, chick. Yeah, the yeah. cord, the cordite. Hmm. Is the uh, the race? Yeah, the cordite. Montrose was voted by Clancy Brown. He was all, he also did Savage Opress in Clone Wars. Ooh, that'd be a cool idea. Have have all the clones be voiced by Clancy Brown? More you can have Wrecker sound like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, there we go, Mr. Krabs. Hunter! <laughs> <laughs> Take me money, SpongeBob! What about uh, the, Come on, the, Omega the, girl? I can never pronounce his name, but the Wookiee from Book of Book of Book of Boba. Oh, Black Chrysanthemum. Yeah, yeah, Black Chrysanthemum. Yeah, oh. Dude, Wookiee clones. Oh, oh Wookiee okay. clones. Okay, Ooh, I gotta, I, like I gotta that. try to look like this up. I'm make... good, Joe. I want to show an image just while we we do some stuff with that, just because like it's never gonna come up. It's never gonna be good. But by accident, someone mentioned um Samuel mentioned uh, Zuckus. That could be interesting. I did Zuckus, try and... Zuckus and Forlorn. I tried to get it to make like insects looking like clone troopers. What I got was like weird Geonosian clone troopers, like. I actually think these are kind of cool. But it's just like basically one of the clone troopers had wings and cricket legs. Oh, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't looked at it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, dude, was that what the... What the hell? <laughs> they they, they kind of came out. Okay. And this one's just got a tiny little one with him. He just gets a buddy. <laughs> That's uh, the um, Austin Powers cloning what, experiment. Uh, and, uh, another one is... Uh, I is, shall call from... him... He's from the Clone Wars, Seripass. 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 Uh, Star Wars. Oh. 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 oh, that dude, the little tiny guy. Yeah, the little tiny guy. In in the robot army. I mean, at that point, are you you're not making clone ar- your clones? You're just making a, a a bunch of like robot suits. You're making a bunch of mech suits for these little guys to be in. That's true. Uh, that's okay, yeah. But I mean, that's an interesting idea. <coughs> yeah, damn it. Uh, you got M- Embo. Is Embo a humanoid or is he like a robot? Oh. Uh, Embo. He's he's a human. I think he's... I've seen his. I've, we've seen his race before. Okay. Here, let me let me pull up uh, Embo because ha- Harrison. I don't think he knows who that is. He's from Clone Wars. Embo looks dope, though. Oh, shit. I mean, I like the idea of, like, uh, an army of, like, clones of Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, exactly. He basically he throws his hat at people. That's, that's actually really cool, is he uses that as a weapon and as a shield. Yeah. It's, he, like, Captain America's that shit. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Zuckus, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was, just look, I was just looking at Zuckus. Yeah, like Zuckus would be a di- would be a weird one because of like he's a little yeah, that little bug creature. Yeah. Should have cl- David K. You you get out of there here with that garbage. Should have cloned right. Jar Jar. <laughs> Jar Joe, we can't technically we can't clone Jar Jar because he's the one true Sith Lord. So. <laughs> oh, and you can get out of here with that garbage too. <laughs> See, David K uh, says, Gilbert and Harrison, will you guys be taking on the flood again? Uh, yeah, we will be doing that. We'll be finishing up Halo 1 this Friday. Yep. Yeah, I'll be back onto that. Let's see. Uh, I've got uh, Halo uh, ready for free. So I'm I'm ready when you two get to free. Ooh, all right. We will absolutely okay. be having you on there. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Tony says, in the book, Darth Plagueis, the Kaminoans tried to clone and... Y- Yinchori, Yinchori, but Yinchori. had a lot of problems. Yinchori. Okay, what's a Yinchori? Yinchori, lizardy sort of dude, big lizard man. Oh, y- mm, interesting. Like green-skinned reptilians with an inherent immunity to telepathic uses of the Force. Oh, uh, that would be interesting to see then, because especially with like Order sixty six. Where the fighting against the Jedi. That yeah. would be that would yeah. be really useful. So yeah, it's like these dude. That's okay. I mean, okay. So we got something like th- uh, here. I, I'll see if I can get a better a better picture of it. But well, not so much. But yeah, we got something like this kind of like people or different alien species in clone armor right here. Yeah. 
See, it looks like someone already did a what if of this. <laughs> Apparently so. Let's uh, let's see. Who was the robot guy with the gun head from Mandalorian armor? Or from oh, whoa, yeah, that dude. I can't remember that guy's name now. It's like Jaharan or something. He's like he's a, a a character that Boba Fett recruits to take on the Shell Huts, who are these big um, huts that like wear floating armor around themselves. And this is some dude who literally replaced his head with a cannon. Like, his head is just a laser cannon. Like, his brain and stuff is just in, like, a box, like, on his hip. That is kind of awesome. But it is I... It is brutal, like, the whole thing with him. It's like, Star Wars is nutty sometimes, dude. I love yeah. it. That's, that's, yeah. So, <laughs> but how would that work? Because they wouldn't be able to coin the gun. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I just, you just make a bunch of clones and then immediately cut the heads off. And I just put it on and replace it with like different weaponry. And or is it like, is, do they grow into the gun? So like, is there a bunch of like baby bodies in tanks like attached to a giant gun, just kind of <laughs> dangling away, and then they just slowly grow up? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see if just the internet has has a Wookiee stormtrooper armor because I really like that idea of black chrysanthemum. Oh, yeah, I, I, just, I like tried to get <laughs> like you, dude, and it is literally I've just ended up with Raiden. I, I that is that is that is cool though. There you go. There, that I I quite like that. <laughs> that looks, but that one on the the lower right hand corner, that one looks kind of badass. I yeah, would, like that actually is pretty cool as as a concept. It's pretty cool. I think with the way that I put it in, like it's just. To, like there's just one clone trooper who's cosplaying and like the rest are all looking at him like what the fuck are you up to man you know that's not regulation i oh, sorry you know that's not regulation here we go check oh, hell. yeah <laughs> so yeah i don't know what what this is concept art from or what it's what it's from but yeah so we do have in fact wookies in stormtrooper armor so i'm like that's actually kind of cool i would i'd be down to have some wookie clones that's cool that also kind of looks like maybe some Wookiees that like messed up some like troopers and took their like masks and stuff to like make shift their own weapons mm. and like breathers. Well, apparently, I, I'm just obviously I was looking at seeing if I could get some images as well. Uh, there were Wookiee stormtroopers in the uh, Battlefront Elite Squadron. Ooh. Oh. I was not aware of that. Okay. Me... Uh, developed by the mad force sensitive clone trooper X1, these Wookiee clone stormtroopers were the direct result of X1 experimenting on and cloning Wookiee warriors in an attempt to bolster his own imperial remnant. Huh. That's <laughs> interesting. Damn, dude. So there were, in fact, I like it. Yeah, this is this is a picture I think of. Of uh, either George Lucas or Luke Skywalker, or of uh, Mark Hamill, like it's like one of those famous pictures. Then, but someone like photoshopped it to look like a, that. <laughs> sure, <laughs> I, I, right. I, I think I, I'm not sure, who, but yeah, I, I seem to remember looking at a picture just like this. But it, yeah, not with not with the armor on. Someone mentioned a thing um, in the chat that I'm not sure we brought up about how like. The galaxy is really human centric, and it's that thing of like essentially, would anyone would they allow anyone that wasn't human to have been a clone? And I do think, whilst it's so much fun to think of those, I do think that's a very good point. Because like I think looking at those things and seeing like the Wookies with their hair blowing out of the armor, I'm like, yeah, I just can't see the Empire putting up with Wookies. Yeah, I feel like no, they're I... too much effort for them. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, dude, but yeah, but I mean. I guess well, so, but it, how cool would that be? Because Clone Wars would get—I would be—I would be that much more into Clone Wars if we get to see a bunch of different Wookies with like different colored hair, different colored fur. Or some of them have like you know maybe like a one of them has a scar, one of them has like an earring or something, one of them has like a nose, like so, like all these different th adornments that make the Wookies different. Oh, uh, okay. Clones. Do you know what that actually? Yeah, you've really convinced me of that because the idea of there being maybe like they don't have much in the way of armor, but they're literally just different looking Wookiees. Yeah, or they'll have different, I, like, the, the different bandoliers or whatever the hell, like, the thing that that Chewie has. Or that they're, they're, like, the the Kaminoans do, like, more just, like, they, rather than just cloning them all the same, they clone them for different, like, tasks. 
and so they're like genetically different each way. So they're all like it's like a huge bad batch on a big scale. So mm. like you have like entire like squadrons of like I don't know hairless wookies like for stealth things or for water things like your scuba wookies like <laughs> scuba wookie. <laughs> here's, here's here's an interesting one a Rodian so Greedo. Oh, I, do you know what Rodians don't get enough love? I I kind of like the idea of that. I like them. They're kind of scrappy. Yeah, they look like flies to me. But they do I'm have that kind of like the, it's the face. Mm. Yeah, it's that weird yeah. sucker thing. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so that's an interesting idea, though. Greedo as I, I think I guess it comes down to the reason they chose Boba Fett is or Jang, Jango Fett is because he was like the best bounty hunter. He, he was like the toughest one, he had, and you know he was like better than all the other ones. I guess when it comes down to it, like, it's what are you looking for in an army? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I suppose for the Caminos, for the Kaminoans, that there's the thing of like, what are they looking for? They're looking for the things that they can't make themselves. And I mm. guess they're such genetic masters, they can probably do a lot of things themselves. Like if they wanted to, like, give someone like extra stuff, and it's, it's that secret source they need. Yeah, it's like what you're saying. We've got uh, Aura Singh. Aura Singh, yeah. It's, it's obviously like she has cybernetic implants anyway. So they wouldn't be able to like clone the cybernetic parts of her clones. So they would have to mm. again, like you said, genetically re like they'd have to engineer them even more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mm, so that's it there. Yeah, I suppose that's a good point. Like with with like R Singh, and honestly, honestly, like that, like part of what makes her so good might be the like the fact that she has that antenna sticking out of her head. Yes, yeah, yeah, she's she's got cybernetic implants. So, so yeah, you, you can't put that into the clones necessarily. No. If you do, they they might react to it differently. I kind of yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah, no, I, I get you. That makes a lot of sense. Let's see, all right, actually, all right. So Nate says, does anyone know uh, know anything about the clone army the CIS made? That's the Separatists made. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't realize that. Uh, there must be something in Legends. CIS made clones. Yeah, so Dr. Matt Studio says, in Legends, the Separatists created a uh, Morguka, a Morgukai. Morgukai. I'm not sure, I'm not I, sure what a Morgukai is. I keep reading that as Magwai. And like, and then I'm just thinking of tiny little um, gremlin clone troopers. And I'm into the idea. Morgukai Shadow Army. So, yes. Uh, here, let me get it off the screen so I can just I can read it without showing everybody. Uh, but says that oh yeah these guys i have seen these spiny faced bros before yeah they can uh, yeah. oh it's one of the see so, yeah, these nope i can't get that that's a bad picture but all right yeah i've i've seen these guys before as well but the more yeah so they recruited them as a te- the, the, the last remaining morku guy bok which that's that was his name using him as the template for a new clone army that was and, and as a way to as like a countermeasure for uh, the clone for like the Jengu clones. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, here let's bring that up here. There oh, those guys, yeah, yeah. Damn, dude, look at all them lightsabers on his belt. It's a badass. He kind of has one. Oh yeah. On his staff. Yeah, it yeah. Like, like lightsaber knife pike thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like the it's like the coarse like exhaust stuff that um yeah uh well Tim has on his lightsaber. I can't remember the character's name, so I'll say the cosplayer <laughs> instead. Clones of Palpatine himself. Isn't Kinda that right. what the Snoke clones are? Like, yeah. isn't that just what Snoke is? It's just yeah. clones of Palpatine. Well, th- this is what my thinks was right. Was obviously like I guess you can't have a Force user be the person you use as your clones. Partly because it's going to be difficult for when you get to Order sixty six because I think it's going to make them more likely to go hey. Yeah. What you said and, about and Skyler here says, would cloning a Sith Lord mean that the clones have dark force powers too? It's, it's iffy. It, Did if Snoke have force powers? Was Snoke... I think it was just Palpatine controlling him. Like he was puppeting. Yeah. yeah. He was puppeting a, which is why one of the many problems of the pre, of the sequel trilogy. But you know, that's neither here nor that's, there. That, that's what I mean, guy. Like, because obviously Palpatine was that powerful. He was able to control Snoke from. Like galaxies away. Mm. So, all right. So, going off of a better of a better Star Wars property, 
Force Unleashed, where they where Darth Vader like Force Unleashed two, he clones Star Killer, and oh, yes. like and a bunch of them are all messed up. Like some of them are are like deformed, others don't have like don't look right or they don't have like their force powers aren't fully like developed and yeah. it's because like it, it's something it says in the game about how like cloning midichlorians is actually like kind of iffy like you can't it's not perfect yes like it's a, it's a tougher situation when you're trying to clone someone with high midichlorian count because then it it makes it like tougher to, to actually get the get it right yeah yeah that make, that 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 tracks that tracks that's what i was thinking because i was well, was wondering like you know is there some argument for trying to use anakin as the midichlorian sponge that he is that you just go clone him oh and god oh they'll god. all be no. pretty good forces no. <laughs> yeah it's an awful idea isn't it <laughs> it's like that that make that would make that so much worse <laughs> We That's have found the... the best way to condition the Skywalkers is to use that which he hates most, which is why the entirety of Camino has been turned into a sand pit. <laughs> you thought on a planet of entirely water he could escape it, but no. Just just yeah. clone him on Tatooine. <laughs> so, oh, there you go. Make move it from, from Open the cloning Tatooine. facility on Tatooine. You, you, you. Or what's the one that um Ray's on? The the planet that Ray is on. That's like all sound. Uh, Jakku. That's it. Yeah. It's quite simple to train one of these clones. You just take the baby out, plant it in a desert, and it just comes <laughs> out a whiny little bitch. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what are they? Yeah, so Brian is also in here. What's up, Brian? He says boss hey, would have been awesome. Yeah, we agree. We already, yeah. we already talked about that one, unfortunately. You missed boss, that boss, part. Boss I, yeah. Like the idea of like a berserker army of like Trandoshans seems like such yeah. a cool idea. Like like space Vikings coming and tearing people apart. Let's see, we also got Iron Sheriff AI. How do we know you're real? Click that little button, uh, proving me you're not a robot. Iron Sheriff's been making all these images for me. <laughs> so yeah, but apparently he's from Saint <laughs> Helens. So small world there. Oh wow! Yeah, right. yeah, right. Like uh, like Johnny Vegas. Oh, okay. So, crazy idea. Instead of instead of cloning any of the bounty hunters, let's clone. Uh, what's her name? Um, bald head. Come on, you know her, Peaky. Asajj Ventress. Asajj Ventress. Uh, Ventress. Let's, let's clone Ventress. Ventress. Because it, yeah, it says Kamen Owens have to visit Mother Talzin. I'm like, let's get uh, Asajj Ventress cloned. I I'd, think that would be awesome. I'd, 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 I'd happily get a. Uh... An army of uh, clone Asajj Ventresses, like just absolutely riddle me with blaster holes. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Nothing would get done. <laughs> <laughs> I went, it's, it's just, like, I'd spend all my time in just a dark nightclub with them. It'd be great. <laughs> just not conforming together. I, you got me. I'm captured. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I surrender. <laughs> He's like, we'll go, we'll go like, get the Ventress Go ahead and put the cuffs on, you, shall we? Tighter. <laughs> God, could you imagine a, a wreck of sized of a size Ventress? Jeez. <laughs> I don't want it's to like, imagine of. Uh. So, what, 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 what can I do for you, madam? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Anything, madam? Yes. <laughs> want me to polish your armor? Got you it. People are like, see, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Like a, a tall girl. Can't be attractive, but it's like, dude, what is it with you people in like, like women who are like bigger than you who can step on y'all or like or crush you? What what is with y'all and and like the bigger women? Not, 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 not even not, like, not, not. Just, just like, you wouldn't what, understand. What, but sometimes you're too you want to be the little spoon. All right, like so, honestly, Gilbert, you're too young. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> It's like, and and you know what, that, and making me feel more like a toddler. That's a better. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the chicks gonna put me in time out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> horrible. Uh, uh, Doctor Mad Studio says, any of you guys going to Star Wars Celebration in London? I can't no, go. I'm, it's sadly I'm due not. to the cost of it, but at least you. Get, I've got a convention to look forward to this year. Uh, no, I'm 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 not, uh, but I my, my mate is going. He sent me a screenshot of how much like autographs and photo ops are, and for um, oh, for the uh, who does the voice of Ahsoka in the Clone Wars? Oh, Ashley Eckstein, Eckstein. Yeah, she's like oh well over a hundred quid for a photo op. And so is I can never pronounce his name, but the guy from um, Mando, the 
one who was trying to capture Grogu. Um, uh, uh, it was shit. Um, yeah, it's Moff Gideon, but he's uh, he, uh, yeah, Juan, Juan Carlo Esposito. Oh, That's yeah. it. Yeah, he he's worth over a hundred quid for a photo op as well. I'm like, what the what a, no, I oh, I, I would wow. not pay any of that photo ops. Yeah, I, I think that's it. Sometimes, like, I'm not that into photo ops in general or game signatures. So sometimes when there's expos, there's not that much for me when I go. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm like, I don't know, man. Mark Hamill, maybe. But, like, I don't know. You have to be, it, it'd have to be, like, a really important uh, actor if it's if I'm going to play 100 bucks for a photo op. Yeah, I think the last, I think the most I've paid for a photo op and autograph was I met um, the Steve Cardenas who plays Rocky in Power Rangers. Oh, I paid cool. for the photo op. I got a signed pop vinyl figure thing and the uh, autograph. He signed my History of Power Rangers book. Was, I think I paid about 105, but that was f- that was for three different things. And I stood and chatted him for about an hour and a half. Oh, that's, that's well. fantastic, yeah. So like, yeah. It, it, I kind of... Yeah. Kind of got my money's worth with that. I do that stuff with bands, like that. that, that that's how I do my thing. I I go and like get VIP things with bands, and you hang out the sound check and be like, ah, nerdy. It's very good. Yeah, he says, "What's the Grand Inquisitor's race?" Uh, Uda Udapowen, Uda Udapow. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. He's, that's what the, he's that dude that with the he's that was the race for that bald headed white dude that talks to Obi One in uh, yes. episode three. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's U- Udapowen. Let's see. Uh, I mean, he was he was a um, temple knight. Yeah, exactly. He was a temple guard before he yeah. was a grand inquisitor. He was there when Ahsoka got uh, tried to treason. Yeah, he was. He was probably, arguably, he might have been one of the guys who tried who arrested her. Yeah, I think he, he was there uh, at her trial. That's one of the main things that twisted him against the Jedi Council. Uh-huh. So, how they went yeah. against, how they went on uh, how they went against one of their own so quickly. Mm. See, Tony says if you're cloning an army, you need a species that can follow orders first and foremost. Says the Kaminoans. So that's why okay. they chose. That's specifically why they chose humans. Is because yeah, they can follow. We can follow. We're subservient. So so like, like Cad Bane wouldn't be like a, Cad Bane would good... probably be one of the worst because if he's if he's like the the like the, the guy that he is you know the maverick the quinn eastwood the you know he's the dude who goes he's off the, and does he's, his own he's thing. the lone he's the, like the lone wolf of bounty hunters he doesn't he doesn't try he doesn't like obviously team up with anybody if he unless he like desperately needs to he'd rather do it on his own mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so Cad and he yeah he's not his stuff doesn't really work for well for teamwork. No. And so, yeah, Cad Bane would probably not be the best idea. Fennec Shan, maybe. Like, I think Fennec would probably be still like if, if second to Boba or to to Django, like Fennec would probably be my my choice because she's a badass. Yeah, and Fennec's past, like going, not including like Mando and Book of Boba, but Fennec's past before of that. Obviously, she she must have had some kind of team and like team setting type thing because obviously you don't go from going wolf to team up with others that quickly so mm. th- there's there's obviously some more history to thank to fennec than what we than we we've, we've already seen so i'm sorry to, yeah, i'm sorry that is that was a very important thing you just said but i i just got i got all caught up in the moment with tj he <laughs> paid that for food and beer with with gil and harry but now nobody at a convention. I appreciate that, TJ. But I also, I also really appreciate what Dr. Matt said. Like, uh, I've been going to these conventions now for 10 years, met a lot of Star Wars guests, some of which were no longer with us, like David Prowse, Kenny Baker, and Jeremy Bullock, which I, I also like. Like, There is something really special to that, of sort of meeting those people yeah. who are such an integral part of what we do. I, I have to admit, it's, it's not a thing that I'm as into, although I did have a wonderful time at Liverpool uh, Comic Con once, um, seeing a panel with... Um, Danny John Jules and Robert Llewellyn from R- R- Red Dwarf. Nice. Like, they're, they're like childhood heroes of mine. It was like just great seeing those guys, you know. So I, I do completely appreciate that. Very cool. And but yeah, they go back to what you were saying though, Peaky, about Fennec. Yeah, no, she's like 
like uh, with her, like you said, with her past. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you, can you repeat what you said one more time? So obviously, like with 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 her, like we haven't seen much of her past before, like Bad Batch and everything. Mm. So we, you don't know, like especially like how she, how quickly she went from Lone Wolf to working with Mando and Boba, and being in kind of like a a, a team setting. She's clearly had that kind of training beforehand. So she might have also because you know, like I said you don't go from lone wolf to being with others that quickly and being into being in with a group so you know it she could be like ex-military or something like that yeah. which what you're saying or like ex, yeah whatever republic forces or some such, such yeah like that. that's an interesting point as well yeah she has training so clearly because she's a good sniper she has that like tactical training and she shows it off when she's uh, hanging out with boba and and uh, mando so absolutely like she'd probably be um, one of the better choices um, and if she's the one who's training the clones the way like in legends the way Django trained his and because of that tactical training that she's had she would need at least one or two other people with her because you can't just have a sniper on their own you have yeah. to have although, a, a, you've got to have a couple more people although how awesome would it be that you see just the entire clone army there's nothing but snipers <laughs> like, like a normal game of Call of Duty. There's everyone's running around with a fifty cal. Fifty cal, fifty cal and a knife. Fifty cal, three sixty no scope. <laughs> See, Nate Lynn says loved Red Dwarf audiobooks. Thanks, to, thanks for those, Harry. No, thank you. No, I, I do need to finish those. I'm sorry, I haven't yet. Yeah, Mad Studio also says he's met some of the cast of Red Dwarf: Chris Barry, Robert uh, Llewellyn, Robert Llewellyn, and, yeah, Norman and Norbert, Lovett, or Norman I Lovett. Yeah, and Hattie Hayridge. That, that that's really cool. So you got like both Hollies in there. That's really sweet. Chris Barry, in fact, actually, Doctor Mad Studio. If you check out um, the audio books that we do here on the channel, Chris Barry is a big inspiration as a narrator. Like his narration's like fantastic, and as a voice actor, top notch. Cool. See, I, I still have to check out like some Red Dwarf stuff because I've never actually seen any of that. I've I've oh, seen you your audio books, but other than that, I've never actually seen the show. Yeah, the, the 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 show's the show's quite dated now. I think like uh, some of the later seasons might yeah. be better for you. Um, like the '90s seasons, um, or well, so later '90s seasons. Um, right. But it's it's super fun. It's funny. All right, yeah. So I'll I'll check those out though. We get, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Because I if we get these some of these references every now and then about Red Dwarf. I'm like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I know I don't want to be able to say things. You're like, cracking your gooseberry. Next time I play, I'm gonna give you some money. Send you to the pictures. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I'm I'm like. No, I, I I draw a blank when I hear that. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get the polymorph episode for you. You'll enjoy that one. Oh, that episode! <laughs> All right, guys. So, like, I think we've we've kind of gone through like the entire uh, like shit. We've gone through the whole the whole bench of super or not superheroes of uh, bounty hunters from Boss to yeah. IG-88 to Fennec, uh, you know, Cad Bane. Uh, is there anyone else we forgot, or is there anyone else you, you like? Not necessarily bounty hunters. Let's just let's just have have some fun with it right now. For this last like ten minutes of the show. Uh, any any like fan cast or any like fun characters you think would be just fun clone army? I mean, do we think that, uh, that there'd be any circumstances where a real MLA would happen? Like we get the monkey lizard army. Of okay, this a Kowakian clone army. <laughs> Like, like, if it's more like, like, no, when, when they make it more like it's like a biological weapon, it's like the Tribbles from Star Trek. You just release them on a planet and they just destroy it, dude. Or like the flood. Oh my god. Um, yeah, no, the monkey, the literal monkey lizard army, like you, salacious B crumb. <laughs> what about what about a, a, a Soka's race? Could you imagine one of their like a clone race of them? I can imagine a clone race of a like a clone army of Ahsoka. You want, hmm. you want to talk about something I would simp for? <laughs> it's like yes, please. I feel like the helmets might be difficult. Yeah. But, yeah. No, yeah. I, here, I'm. Not I'm impossible. gonna. I, I gotta look that up now. I gotta see if there, if a, if there's a Togruta with a helmet on. Actually, a ghost hand so It's kind of weird how they never touched much on chemical warfare in Star Wars. You would think the Empire would be all over that. It, it does come up in some things in um in slave ship um one of the audiobooks we've recently done there was a really interesting one where there was like these pests that um the empire released onto a world that like they had no like predators so they just 
like multiplied and multiplied, and they produced a toxin as they ate stuff, which poisoned the planet. I think they... it would work. Yeah, if they had helmets styled like that. Something like that. Or I, uh, I see this. Yeah. This is like some fan art that I found. So <laughs> I don't know who amazing. this person is, but yeah, so I found this fan art that um, uh, is artist down there by the Laugh Mask. That's what that's the that's the Laugh uh, Mask. So yeah, if you like this art, this art, go check out Laugh Mask, I guess. But yeah, but that's the armor that I see is that is this person. It looks like they might be either a Togaruta or a uh, Twi'lek. But either way, that's it's clone armor. It's basically doing different a different thing. I could I could definitely see someone having having that kind of stuff going on. This person Laugh Mask does some fantastic Star Wars art, so I'm gonna. Drop this. Kind of weird. Yeah, Ghost Hand says it's kind of weird. We never touched on chemical warfare much in Star Wars. You'd think the Empire would be all over that. They do use it. They do use it a little bit in Clone Wars. They have like the, that giant like Xylo they piece had they had to the, kill with uh, and gas. They did it um, on Geonosis. Uh, they touched on it in Bad Batch uh, uh, season one. They gassed the entire Geonosian planet. Ooh, I more. like that, Harrison. That's cool. This is some more of that artist's work. I just want to like show it. The, uh, sorry, oh, the wow. zoom is the zoom sucks. But yeah, this kind of like Mandalorian slash whatever that species is called thing going on. I like it with the Django style blasters. Yeah, mm. no, that's pretty cool. That's that's the yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they did do a bit of chemical warfare on Geonosis after uh, Yeah, they yeah, they wiped out the entire Geonosian yeah. race. And then also he says, speaking of chemical warfare, I've got a prop replica of the Blackwing virus from Legends novel Death Troopers. He's got the zombie virus. Damn. Oh, and um, also he asked us if we ever heard of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. yes. Great, do you breathe? Great, do you breathe great, air? Great book and great 80s right. TV show. Radio show as well. I was yes. um, I was and addicted to that radio show. Um, the movie, opinion, the movie, movie we don't talk too. about. We don't talk about the movie. <laughs> no, the, the, movie the movie was as good as it was as good as it's ever as Hollywood would ever be able to do. That is as yeah. good as they will ever be able to to get. Yeah, ma that, yeah, maybe. Especially with the dolphin song at the start. Exactly. Oh, the dolphin, like, that's, that's as good as they will ever. Get. Like anything more, if trying to ask them to do an actual like five part uh, movie series with with those books is you're asking them too much. Yeah, <laughs> Hollywood doesn't have the chops. What about a Keldorian clone army? Oh, uh, Keldor. So, uh, like, uh, pro, pro, pro coons. Yeah. Race. Pro coons. Oh. Yeah, I will look that up as well. So, I suppose, like, it's a bit of a challenge if they can't ever, like, have their helmets removed, like, if they need the breathers on. Because don't they, like, he breathes a weird atmosphere that most planets don't have. Yeah, he has to have that like rebreather like permanently on, doesn't he? More, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's a, there's a picture out there of what a Keldor looks like without their mask. And it yeah, it's weird. So I've just seen that picture. <laughs> looks really, really creepy. So, I mean, we're. I have a couple of different uh, Keldor pictures of that, but only really one that that looks like uh, he would like he would actually be like part of the clone army. So. This one right here, he's wearing yeah. It's the dude wearing uh like Mandalorian armor. Oh, that is so, cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm like, it's it. We could have like a Keldor bounty hunter or, or Keldor clones, but yeah, I feel like that would be that would be a major uh like inconvenience because they have to they have to breathe in like helium to breathe or they have to like i think it's like nitrogen or so they have to breathe in some kind of gas like that that mask allows them to breathe yeah so i literally all you have to do to beat the clone army is just pop just pop their little mask off and they're just like <gasps> it, it's it wouldn't be impossible but yeah I, I feel like it might be a big weakness that they want to avoid mm. Uh, Dr. Mad, uh, Madstu said, uh, speaking of war warfare, I've got a prop replica of the Blackwing virus from Legends novel, Death Troopers. Really interesting. I'd really be interested to know what that prop is like, because we read that book on the channel. Yeah, uh, that's, I, that's why I brought that up. I'm like, oh, hey, he's got the zombie virus somewhere in it. And I'm like, I don't know. I wonder. It, was, it must be like a vial or something with, with crap in it. Well, and interesting, um, I'm going to put another link in the chat, because I'm allowed to, because I'm, I'm in charge of this stream. Sort of, <laughs> not really, I'm a co-host. <laughs> Uh, but this is a guy who's um, been putting uh, comments on the chat. This is a guy who makes resin custom kyber crystals, and he's done a black, 
a black wing inspired kyber crystal where it's like infected. Ooh. So, yeah, like, uh, just, yeah, just, just check that, this dude out. There. It's oh, like real dude. interesting stuff. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, so you get these ones like with skulls inside them. So yeah, uh, if you're interested, uh, I'm not sure where the uh, the shop is based, but go take a look at that Etsy link. Indeed, go do that. That's that is pretty cool. And also, if you do your own like custom things that you sell, let us know because I'm very happy to share them with the good people here in the Fulcrum Knights. <laughs> Yeah, Just I'll see bring what's that underneath deck. my name. <laughs> yeah, so I, we have a new thing on. Yeah, we have this new thing called headlines. We can put for who. You, so Gilbert, host, Harry, co-host, Peaky <laughs> Dogger. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have fun doing that in the future with my with our with our uh, you know ho, with our yeah, guests. Um. So yeah, also, Tyler Dan- says that's sick. I uh, says op topic question for Harry: Are you still thinking of doing of reading the Dune series? Um, I wouldn't mind, but it's probably not going to happen for a while on the channel. If uh, like I, I can't see it happening in like the next year. Um, I haven't got that much time to dedicate to the audiobooks as I used to, so I'm having to do just like one book at a time. Um, I mean, mostly want to do Star Wars books uh, and the Dune books. While I'm interested, I know they're they are big books. Um, they take a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I, I, as I understand it, they are like really, really complicated books too. They have a lot of like shit to them, a lot of going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I will spend a lot of time struggling, and the amount of comments I will get for mispronouncing do you That's not how you say that name. Uh, yeah, but, but I might struggle with that a bit. But I, like, if I basically, if I didn't have a job, I would be doing it now. So yeah, <laughs> but I have yeah. a job because I live in this society. That's why people, we need more likes and subscribers so we can make this our job, people. <laughs> so content creation can become the job. <laughs> it's like, do it. God, that's, the, that's, that's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, guys, I think we're about ready to wrap it up here. So we've gone, like I said before, we've gone through the entire bench of bounty hunters. We've gone, th- we've yeah. decided to have a little bit of fun and, and talk about some other races and other people we would like to see. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn okay, get over, or go turn around one more time and be like, and ask if there's anything last. Uh, Harrison, is there anything else you wanted to touch on? Or are we good? I think I am good. I think I've gotten most of my most of my things out, my ideas. Yeah. How about you, Peaky? Yeah, no, same same here. All right. Well then, here let me get rid of the banners because I'm going to put you. I'm going to put you back in the in the b- bottom part for a minute. Yeah. But. All right, guys. So I'm going to say th- uh, that's where we're going to wrap it up here. So thank everybody so much for, for tuning in. Thank you to Timo, Skyler, uh, Dr. Mad Studio, Ghost Hand, Milk Toast, TJ, Nate, Tony. It's just going to fucking Connor, Brian. Uh... Oh, yeah. Both of which asked you, Peaky, where the bodies are. And I would like to, I, you need to uh, thank us for our silence on that. We didn't press you on that. We've let you get away with this. You're never gonna yeah. know. <laughs> where are they, Peaky? Hashtag <laughs> where are the bodies? You're on more the hot have, seat now. <laughs> more have been added. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, no. he's getting to them John Wayne Gacy numbers. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's getting Dom. Uh, see, with those glasses, I'm like you're more of a do- you remind me thinking more of a Dahmer than a than a Gacy. Everybody says that. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. I'm so sorry, Peaky. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so and thank you to all of our audience. And then of course, thank you to uh Peaky Arrow Productions. And uh, so you wanna you wanna give us a, a quick uh plug of what you what uh stuff is going on on your channel, what you're doing. No, not you. Yes, yeah, so so about your I channel? am finishing up the last few Megazord reviews that I have got left. I've got three left to release, which will be getting released this week, nice. uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that will conclude that kind of series for now until I get more. Um, after that, I'll be starting my weapons and morpher show-off that I've got, all my ranger weapons and morphers. Nice. And I'm also going to be doing producing some shorts on the Megazords, um, just as uh, a, a quick look for people who don't want to look at the me- watch the whole Megazord reviews, basically. 
And that's that's about it, really. Okay, well, when you do your Morpher review, you need to do the whole, like, the actual, like... I'm going to try. I'm going to do all of those. I'm going to try. Oh, God, that, that that score was still, like, the best. And I don't care how crappy the production value of power of Mike and Morphin is, it is still has the best soundtrack. Yeah, it's up there. <laughs> it's up there. Power Ranger in space is better. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So everybody, go um, uh, go subscribe to Peaky Arrow. Uh, I'm is, like... I am seven away from three hundred. So oh, hey, we can manage that. Oh well, you know what? Now you're eight away because I just unsubscribed. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, guys, yeah, go subscribe to him. Can help him get to that 300 subscriber mark, and honestly, help him get even further than that because he deserves it. His his uh his reviews are of the trailers are fun. His uh, let's see what other stuff. Yeah, his toy reviews are always good. And you know what? I haven't I haven't watched many of them, but his shorts are pretty funny too. So go check those out. He's a stand up bloke, even if he is a dogger. Indeed, he is. He's a stand up dogger. In fact, I'm going to bat on the knees. That. In fact, I'm going to get that off of there right now, and I will bring that <laughs> Peaky Arrow dogger. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, and then yeah, make sure if you like our content, you like or on on here, you like, subscribe, and comment below if you haven't already. M make sure you check out our other videos. We're going to be doing uh, Harrison's going to be having other, an audio or another part of Star Wars Allegiance next week. Mm -hmm. We're going to be having uh, Monday. We'll be having Resident Evil Three. I'll be finishing up that game. Harrison will be continuing another part of Resident Evil 4 on Tuesday. And Friday, we will be having Halo Friday, where we will be finishing up Halo 1. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Can't Good wait to, to, yeah, can't gonna, wait to see, watch that. You're going to see the wait. iconic... Uh, uh, not Warthog. You're going to see the iconic Warthog run, uh, Harrison. <sighs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, and you'll have, to, you'll have to be the one gunning. For, no, I'm not, Oh, better. I'll make you drive. Oh, this I'll is make you bad. drive during the Warthog run. This is going to be bad. Oh, that'll be wonderful. But yeah, so I, like I said, thanks everybody for, for tuning in. This has been Fulcrum Entertainment po uh, Podcast. Well, this has been Fulcrum Entertainment's Fulcrum What If. I have been Gilbert. I have been Harrison. And been this has been... There we go. And we will see you guys all next time. See you, everybody.